Good afternoon everyone and welcome to our award assembly for this week. I'm looking forward to giving lots of you some awards. You've been really busy. I am so pleased to say that your engagement has been incredible. Thank you so much mums and dads. Uh, lots of classes, 100% of the children have been on the Zoom for each session which is absolutely incredible. So well done to all of you. So we'll start with our merits for year one. And in 1W, we have Samuel E for enthusiastic, excellent daily challenges in both maths and phonics, demonstrating some fabulous home learning. Well done, Samuel. Jasmine H for enthusiastically getting involved in our daily phonics challenges and for finding 20 words in the story we read. That's amazing, Jasmine. Good girl. Oakley T for completing some brilliant greater than or less than daily challenges. Very well done, Oakley. And Katie L for outstanding home learning and brilliant Zoom attendance. Fabulous. Very well done, says Mrs Williams and Mrs Munnery. And then in 1H, we have Lola C for amazing interviewing skills. Miss Parnell thinks she can see a future for you in performance, Lola. So very well done. Reggie G for a fantastic Prove It video, learning about greater than and less than. Very well done, Reggie. Carter C for attending every Zoom and his enthusiastic participation in the maths sessions. Brilliant, Carter, says Mrs Hannon. Well done. And Adam P for always maintaining his high standard of presentation, effort and commitment for all the tasks he has completed. That's really good to hear, Adam. Well done. So it's fantastic. Well done to year one. Let's go on to year two now. And we have in 2B, Wesley W for superb answers during several Zoom lessons. Lovely to hear your ideas. It's really nice, Wes. Well done. Ruby D for drawing such an imaginative carriage to take her on an adventure to Disney. Cool, I'd like to come with you to go to Disney, Ruby. That would be amazing. Clever girl, well done. Owen R for so many outstanding observations during our Zoom sessions. That's great to hear, Owen. Good boy. And Isaac O for showing so much enthusiasm for learning about multiplication and working so hard at home. Great job. Well done, Isaac. And then in 2C this week, a well done to William M for creating a delicious plate of alien words and underlining the diagraphs and triographs. I have to have some of those for dinner, William. Well done. Miles D for creating a fantastic vehicle and map for his journey in literacy. Well done. That sounds fun, Miles. Seb C for connecting concentrating really hard on sticking his letters to the lines in literacy. <laughs> well done, Seb. Good boy. And Yegor I for working so hard in phonics this week and drawing all of his sound buttons. Good job, Yegor. That's fantastic. Very well done to year two. Now in year three, well done to Bella S for sending in films of multiplication sentences using toys a wonderful film of her dancing. Mrs. Marmot loved it. Jack K for completing home learning work and uploading it every day. Well done, Jack. Finn W for fantastic understanding of the inverse relationship between times and divide. Great job, Finn. And Isaac R for fantastic listening and responding in the Zoom number lessons. Great job. Well done, Isaac. And then we go on to 3A. Welcome to, welcome to Jacob F for working so hard at home and taking lots of pride in his presentation. Logan K for creating beautiful William Morris printing tiles in school. Good job, Logan. Chloe D for completing her remote learning to a very high standard. Keep it up, Chloe. Well done. And Ruben W for contributing brilliant ideas in our daily Zoom lessons. Fantastic. Well done to Ruben. Brilliant job, year three. Great job, all of you. And in year four, Daisy G for always trying her best and making lots of wonderful contributions in our Zoom sessions. Been very busy, all of you. Lenny T for being an absolute superstar in every lesson, showing lots of enthusiasm for reading and attempting the most challenging work in maths. Keep it up, says Mrs Silverson. 
Isabel C for always trying her best and making lots of interesting contributions in our Zoom sessions. Well done, Isabel. Harrison D for writing lots of descriptive words and phrases to use in our Blitz poems. Good job, Harrison. Well done. And then in 4F, well done to Connie S for consistently trying her hardest in class and producing excellent work. Sam E for persevering with his work in every lesson. Well done, says Mrs Taylor. Molly B for interesting and descriptive words and phrases for her Blitz poem. Well done, Molly. And Florence F for using interesting and descriptive words and phrases for her Blitz poem. So really well done to year four. Good job, all of you. In year five. Well done to Lily H for a superb colourful poster for her space theme park. That sounds fun, Lily. Hugo H for a wonderful poster to advertise his amazing theme park. Maddie T for a fantastic attitude in school and for becoming more confident in sharing her voice in lessons. That's nice to hear, Maddie. Good girl. Hayden for a brilliant and creative logo for his Luna theme park. Well, that sounds fun too. And Tia G for amazing effort and application in home learning. Your work is always beautifully presented. That's fantastic also. And then in 5F, Emily E for your amazing effort and hard work in maths. Well done, Emily. Ryan F for working so hard at home, especially on his superb responses to Wonder, our class reader. Well done, Ryan. That's great to hear. Heidi H for a really mature approach to her online learning. Great job, Heidi. And Ellis W for a wonderful description of a UFO landing and an alien emerging with well-used grammatical devices. Good job, Ellis. Well done. That's fantastic. Well done for all your hard work in year five. In year six, Rufus M for contributing so well in every Zoom, especially your French and writing. Très bien. Obviously, I don't teach French, as you can hear. Stephanie K for working hard on your biography and your dragon work. Beautiful artwork too, says Miss Carmel. Well done. Imogen R for working so hard in school and at home. Such creativity. You are a gem. It's nice to hear, isn't it? And Amelia W for being a home learning superstar and doing so well with her reading. Great job, Amelia. That's really nice to hear too. And then finally in 6T, Elliot C for an excellent beginning to his dragon project. Really creative and imaginative writing. Well done, says Mr Todd. Leighton M for high quality writing and increased confidence in his maths. Should be teaching bus stop division for the masses. <laughs> well done. The Joe Wicks of divisions, says Mr Todd Layton. Well done. Martha W for adding her own dynamic to home learning. Martha's incredible imagination has resulted in unique quality work. Wow, that's great to hear, Martha. Good girl. And finally, Jensen T for a wonderful array of high quality work, consistently meeting deadlines. What a writer. Fantastic. So that's our merits this week. Good job. So now going on to our head teacher awards, these are for children or for parents who have gone above and beyond. So really good job to all of you. I'm going to do the children's head teachers awards first. So well done this week to Finn B in 5M for amazing effort in his home learning and going the extra mile every day. Well done, Finn. Danny P in 3M for wonderful home learning and attendance at all Zoom lessons. Lovely work uploaded every day too. Well done. Lauren N in 3A for a trying so hard with her reading in school and catching the accelerated reading bug. Well done. It's nice to hear. Ashling B for going up and up above and beyond in all her home learning for always being ready to learn. First, in fact, nearly every time. So well done, Ashling. Uh, Maisie I in 6C for outstanding home learning and participation in every session for amazing artistic talent too. Well done, Maisie. Martha W in 6T for a brilliant and persuasive soup advert and an incredible PowerPoint presentation. Well done. 
Freya W in 4S for superb work and contributions in all of the Year 4 remote learning activities. Well done. And Charlie K in 4S for outstanding work and contributions in all of the Year 4 remote learning activities. Well done. So those are our Children's Head Teachers Awards. And then we have got some Parent Head Teachers Awards. These parents have been nominated by somebody else in our school community for um, a mention in our assembly. So our first one is to Nicola Lyne and her Head Teachers Award this week is working tirelessly for the Red Cross, continuing to provide vital first aid training. So very well done to Nicole. Thank you for your hard work. Our next one is for Sherry Charman and that is for always trying her best to make do with the current times. Well done. It's really lovely to hear. We then have Cara Locke for juggling lots of jobs to ensure that her son can enjoy his home learning every day. Well done. We have her teacher award for Vicky Gardner and hers is for isolating at home whilst taking care of her poorly husband, homeschooling and running the house. An absolute hero, your nominator has said. So very well done to Vicky. And then I've got a final one. In fact, there were two nominations and that was for the PTA. And that's for not only working hard in their jobs and homeschooling, but also continuing to create ways to maintain crucial funding. A huge thank you to the PTA from all of us at school and a big thank you also to all of those lovely parents who have supported them. It's been a really, really important time for us and hopefully soon we can get some new shelters up at school. So massive thank you to the PTA. So that's the end of my Head Teachers Awards. We're now on to Accelerated Reader and the competition is definitely hotting up. So if we have a look first at the uh, competition in the year groups. In year two this week, the winning class is 2B. So well done to 2B. In the year three, four competition, in fourth place, we have 3A. In third place, we have 3M. In second place, we have 4F and a huge well done this week to 4S who are in first place. Well done. And then in our year five, six competition, I know I said to you last week, it was it was just a book difference and it's as close this week. So in fourth place, we have 5M. In third place, we have 5F. They've got over 14 million words, which is amazing. In second place, with 18,600,000 18, words, we have 6T. And the winning class this week with 19 million, a huge well done to 6C. As a school, we're up to 69,873,000 words. So that's a 1.5 million increase since last term, which is amazing. So good job all that reading at home. We've got some individual accelerated reader certificates as well. So very well done to Jess B in 3M for 250,000 words. Brilliant, Jess. Ben W in 6C has got his 250,000 words. Danny C in 4S has got his half a million. Well done, Danny. That is brilliant. Seth H in 5 M has got his half a million as well. That's brilliant, Seth, good boy. And Imogen R in 6C has got her half a million. So brilliant. Keep up that reading. You can do your quizzes online. The links are on the website. So keep going and hopefully we'll get over to, we were on 69, maybe we can get up to 80 million for next week. Great job. Well done. Next up, we're going to do our weekly reading winners. So everyone that has read every day has been entered into the prize draw. We have a list. We've got 123 entries this week. So each of you that's been entered, you have got a number. So we're going to have our special whizzy wheel, going to whiz round and select four winners for us this week. So we'll start the wheel. And our first winner this week is number four. 46. 46 is Lily in 6C. Well done to Lily. Next up, if we spin the wheel again, we have got 120. And 120 is Owen R in 2B. So very well done to Owen. Spin the wheel again.
This time we have got 28 and 28 is Jamie D in 6T. Very well done to Jamie. And our final spin of the wheel this week. is number 20 and number 20 is miles d in 2c fantastic keep up that daily reading don't forget to do your ar quizzes if you're higher up the school as well when you've done your reading and those children that have been selected can come and choose a prize from my room when they get back they'll get a new book each so very well done to all of you our times table rock stars this week so on our leaderboards in year two in third place, a huge well done to Ruby D. Uh, second place, Florence P. And in first place, Theo B. So that's year two, well done year two. In year three, in third place, Noah S. In second place, Luca A. And in first place, Ernie M. So well done year three, good job all of you. And then the leaderboard in year four. So these are the children that have got the most new answers, Correct, so that's really good. In third place is Amelia H. In second place, Harrison R. And in first place, Isabella D. Fantastic job, well done three of you. In year five on the leader table, in third place, Avea W. In second place, Finn B. And in first place, Harry T. So well done year five. And then in year six, in third place, Martha W. Second place, Zach G. And first place, Isabel S. Amazing job, all of you. And our certificate winners this week for their increases in their um, questions, right? So we've got uh, Jacob V. And Jacob has got his bronze and his silver in one week. So that's amazing, Jacob. Well, very well done. We have Daisy G and Daisy has got bronze, silver and gold. So you've been really busy on Times Table Rockstars, Daisy. Well done. And then we have Charlie V who has also got bronze, silver and gold. An amazing achievement. So very well done to those three children as well. Keep up those Times Table Rockstars. So that brings us to the end of our award assembly for this week. Can I say a huge well done to all of you, not just those of you that have got awards, but all of you that are working so hard at school and those of you that are also working incredibly hard at home. We're very proud of all of you. Keep up the amazing work. Stay safe and we'll see you again next week. Bye all of you. Have a great week.